So uh, this is going to be a Virgo Sun Moon and uh, as well rising a weekly love and relationship tarot reading January 6th uh, to January 12th uh, 2020 and uh, in case any of you guys want to get in touch with me for a personal reading you can check out the link uh, in the description down below in this video and there you're gonna find a, uh, a link to my website so you can check out the description down below of this video and you're gonna find a, a link to my website there uh, that being said moving into the uh, reading straight away now the first card which stands for the topic and the team uh, throughout this week for you Virgo we do have the magician followed by the next one uh, which is the energies supporting the topic itself that is going to be the four of cups the third card represents the challenges uh, that you will have to overcome throughout the week that is going to be uh, the lovers card followed by the fourth one here which is uh, the gifts and the blessings that's uh, you are going to enjoy throughout the week we do have the knight of wands afterwards um this is going to be how other people see you how your friends and family sees you how your personal interest sees you um how your partner lover wife husband as well we're seeing you we do have the two of one or uh, the two of pentacles excuse me then the next card it is what is going to help your long term love and relationship goal and we do have the nine of pentacles <clears throat> afterwards is what is going to help your long-term love and relationship goal this is going to be the moon card and the final one here it is the guidance that uh, taro is offering to you in terms of love and relationship virgo we do have the the uh, hierophant card so uh to be honest with this reading i don't know where i'm going where, where i will have to start from it is because um a lot is shown here in the gifts and the blessings uh, with this knight of wands um so hopefully i will do a good job uh telling you the story of the reading starting from the very beginning here with the first couple of cards which are the magician and the four of cups so what we have here it is a uh, a situation where you're gonna have enough of not being understood where you're gonna have enough of not of not being taken as exactly who you are you're gonna have enough of having to settle for less when you can go for more either in a current relationship or either in a current interaction or just in general in life you know for example you take everything uh, you do everything you can of uh, being um, catching for the eye for example going into gym doing your makeups you know um, uh, kind of like dressing properly and so on and so forth and yet you're single so you're gonna have enough of all that and therefore throughout this week you are gonna try to see the very soul and core reason why this is the case okay and through this deeper look that you are going to um kind of like turn to yourself and to your endeavors and to your deals as well you uh, my virgos are going to um find out let's say the the, the right recipe how to be happy in uh, certain in current relationship interactions and marriage or you know how to a uh, attract the appropriate person for yourself uh that is due the magician card here taking as a um, um standing as a topic because the magician itself points the uh, with the four of uh, cups as an energy is that through a, a very critical self-analysis okay you are going to uh, redefine your sovereignty your actions your determination if you will and from there you're gonna make the magic happen and just to give you an example here you know while you are uh, you might you might be very attractive for example whenever someone tries to approach you you may 
give them the impression that you don't need to be in a relationship, okay? And that is something you don't realize. Well, get, guess what? Throughout this week, throughout this crucial analysis, you are to realize that, and the case may not be like this as well. It is just, you know, it could be that you're taken for granted. It could be as well that uh, people are um, taking you as a one-night stand, and, and these guys, or you may be just a slumber beneath toe into one's marriage, and you are going to identify what is causing that, and you are to address that issue. Nonetheless, at the end of the day, if you play your cards right, right with those tarot cards it seems that whomever stands beside you as a person of interest or as a partner you know and etc etc is going to have to take you for what you truly are no more and no less now the next one here it is the challenge that you will have to overcome throughout the week and as we can see here we do uh, with the first couple of cards you are going to undergo a, a rather swift behavior changes changes into your behavior because you are going to be like i said fed up of trying to satisfy everybody around and not doing anything to satisfy yourself trying to be someone else that other people expect you to be and not being yourself. So here the challenge itself with the lover's card is going to be to maintain the har the harmony into the interactions, not just with your person of interest and your lover, but also with everybody around because people will see that once again you are changing. Now, uh, in another standpoint, the lovers also, it could be taken as a uh, being being very difficult to make a decision. Why? It is because um, decision, for example, whom should, whom should I be with? Okay, you have a couple of suitors and you don't know whom you should be with. Or you can't take a decision for it because they both are, seem, are, are looking seeming um, equally good or equally bad. Well, with the lover's card, there is no right or wrong decision here. That is the tarot card that refers to decision making that it is based entirely on personal preference. Uh, and that's why the challenge of making a decision it's go, is going like that. One is waiting until the right decision becomes obvious but that never happens because there is no right or wrong decision here and you just need to make up your mind in order to overcome that predicament now the next one it is the gifts and the blessings and that is the knight of wands so especially for those who are single the gift and the blessing is going to be a, a person okay that comes around and is just determined to try it out okay just to see how the things are gonna go forward now um as a gift and the as a gift and blessing, the uh, Knights of Wands has that uh, ampli excuse me has am amplified their property of willingness to do whatever it takes in order to make the thing work. Okay, so that is your gift and blessing. A person that is not gonna give up on you. What the hell is going on outside? A gift and blessing of a person that is not gonna give up on you that easily all right now from another standpoint the uh knights of wands if it is not a person for those who are in a flourishing uh relationship all right because in that case is going to present a third party and that's not a gift and blessing at all uh it's um refers to the variety of, of options that you do have in order to present yourself exactly as who you are and for those who doesn't know that because you may be amazed or surprised but there are a lot of people that does not kind of yet found their identity uh, and these are especially people that have number two as their life part number because number two is the follower uh, the knights of wands it is uh, the gift and the blessing of the through trying out different stuff different enterprises different endeavors as well they are going to find a, a huge portion of themselves because there are a lot of people that does not know what they want well as a gift and blessing if you are one of these people, you will find out what you want for yourself, for your future relationship, for your current relationship, for your next love partner, and etc., etc. 
So the next card here, it is how other people were going to see you. Now we do have the two of pentacles and people were seeing you uh, in a strong correlation with the nine of, with the knight of wands. Two of pentacles represents a, a person, you in that particular case, in the eyes of others, as he is someone who is pretty much changing. It's kind of like undergoing firstly a very minor and subtle changes, but as well, it's out, it's letting go of, of a, a behavior kind of like properties, I don't know how to say it, you know, for example, you like to party a lot with certain specific individuals and suddenly you are reducing those parties to a point where those parties are non-existent. So it's kind of like you are readapting your lifestyle that is going to be more suitable to your future goals. The other card is going to be what you can do in order to uh, help your long-term love and relationship goal. And this card says only one thing, it is time for you to establish a new love endeavor, a new relationship, a, uh, how can I say it, a leap into future love development. And if you are entirely single, this card suggests that there is someone around you that shows interest and you are either not allowing them to get close to you or you're not looking um, kind of like in the right direction. You do have a different criteria. And this is what we're talking about here, redefining oneself. Therefore, it does look like that it is time for you to give a chance to someone. That is what you have to do in order to further your uh, long-term love and relationship goal. Now, the other card, it is uh, what is going to hurt your long-term love and relationship goal. We have the moon card and the moon card says only one thing, uh, hoping that the love is going to find you on, the, on its own accord here in this particular follow-up. It's not going to. You have to find it on your own or for yourself, that is, okay? So pretty much, um, I would summarize before I go to the last card here, Virgo, it is that the time of waiting is over. I mean, you can't wait for a lifetime, the good things to happen to you. Sometimes you have to go out and make those good things happen to you for yourself. And that is the week you do it. Uh, the last card here, it is uh, the Hierophant, which is the guidance that Tara is offering to you. And the Hierophant urges you to talk a lot uh, for yourself, for your past experiences, if you will, for what you want for yourself as well, from a future relationship, from your future love endeavors also. Now, the Hierophant, uh, it's kind of like referring to these open conversations, deep and meaningful, profound conversations, where differences in between two people are actually being able to be resolved in the existing framework of... Um, of code of conduits in term of love and relationship. But the Hierophant goes even deeper than that. In relationship and love readings, the Hierophant is all about trust. So this guidance card urges you to see whom you trust unconditionally. And that is the one you have to give a chance to. That is the one you have to make the things happen. That is the one that's, you know, I kind of calls you for a leap into future love development. And the way I take it, pretty much that reading pushes you, pushes one to try out with their very best friend. Uh, at least this is how I am seeing on it, you know, but maybe throughout my explanations um, with the cards going card by card, it kind of engraved different impression in you. But if that was my, if that, that was my reading, it would have been a reading for me and my very best friend, female, that I don't have such. Well, I do, but it's, it's kind of like, you know, uh, it's different story there. What I mean is that it's, it's, um, it's my assistant and uh, my assistant has a family and, you know, it's just, it's not like it is, but it's like well, the very best friend where you party a lot together, you share different things together, you do have a similar interest and so on and so forth to make it try it out, or to try it out, yeah. So that being said, Virgo, uh, this was your love and relationship tarot reading. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And um, Again, if you are interested in a personal reading, you can check out the description down below and there you're gonna find a link to my website. And uh, hopefully we're gonna see each other around. Until then, bye.